Okay. gotten a new part of our journey. Um, we're, you know, we've, we've been working on this adoption thing for going on a year and a half now. And they finally gave us uh, this last, or yesterday as a matter of fact, they gave us a, we were supposed to be getting three visits per month. Now, we can look at the good part that we're getting three visits or we can look at um, they are changing our location and making it uh, actually 71 miles further for us to drive. We've been driving like 250 miles and now it's going to be like 330. Fortunately, we have a <laughs> we have a halfway stop with Jessica's mom and dad, so we can drive up, you know, two and a half hours one night or three, and then we can drive the other two and a half hours or so the next uh, morning. But <clears throat> I've been listening to, uh, you know, you, you know that I've been listening to a lot of uh, motivational speakers and stuff, and I've been listening to Bob Proctor, who, you know, I kind of followed the trail of breadcrumbs um, with Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale and uh, Bob Proctor was mentored by Earl Nightingale and Lloyd Conan. So they're, they all give you some of the same but then they give you some in different ways. And one of the things that he was saying was, it, you know, you everybody's got problems. The only difference between the people who succeed and the people who don't succeed look at the problems as opportunities. And so instead of looking at it as a problem that we got to drive an extra hour or whatever to get to our visitations, we're gonna look at it as there's an opportunity here. We don't know exactly what that opportunity is, but let me take you back to when I was, you know, when we, when we lost Isaac at our last adoption attempt, you know, I told everybody God's got a bigger blessing in mind. Well, <clears throat> the same holds true here. Um, maybe, maybe not a bigger blessing. Uh, maybe He has a different blessing in mind, one that we wouldn't have if we didn't, you know, change loop locations so we're going to declare in faith that this is working for good and that um, 
we're going to have a <laughs> we're going to have a bigger blessing somewhere along the way. You know, I go back to that old story in um, I believe it's 2 Chronicles 20 with King Jehoshaphat when they said there's three armies coming against you and he prays and, and the Lord says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which is the same thing he told Moses but um, <clears throat> when it was all said and done Jehoshaphat sent his choir out in front of the army to praise the Lord and to call you know what was happening a blessing and the Lord had the armies be so selfish against each other that they ambushed each other and killed everybody off and it took them three days to collect and carry off all the loot from these three armies so, do I know exactly what they have in mind or what God has in mind for us? No, I don't, but I'm going to choose to call it good. I'm going to choose to see in it that there's an opportunity and not a, um, not just some problem that we have to deal with. Anyway, let me know what you think. What has happened in your life that has seemed like a problem but really turned out to be an opportunity? Anyway, that's our two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless, and see you next time.